Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So today I've got a pretty good video for you guys. We are going to be doing a catch clean cook um, for squirrels, chicken of the tree as I like to call them. We're going to be using the Henry survival rifle to take our game. And this is all based on the fact that we're doing this all camping off of a motorcycle. So I've got my little Endura on-road, off-road motorcycle with me. I rode it up here, brought all the gear with me up here on it. Um, which is three backpacks and a cooler is what I brought and the gun, but the gun goes in a backpack. So that's all done. I'm going to show you the bike sitting here, show you my camping setup. And uh, in the morning when I pack up, I'll show you how the whole back, the whole bike looks packed up with the cooler and everything on it. But I kind of run you through it. I wear one backpack and then I lay my, I would normally wear my camera bag because it's a smaller of them. Then I put my cooking bag down with the hiking backpack on top of it strap it all down and then put the cooler hanging off the back or the side so i'll show you guys this little setup here here's what we've got going on we've got the bike so it has got this big nice flat spot and then the big flat seat so i normally lay the cooking bag down first since it's the biggest put the camping bag on it with the sleeping bag and pillow and stuff in it and the hammock in it run a strap through here which holds that down and then off the side off this side i hang my cooler that little tiny cooler i did have the cooler sitting up here on the back for the dried up here and i didn't like it a whole lot so i think hanging it off the side will be a little better and again i may be wrong so we'll see how it works on the way back just a simple hammock setup as usual i got my little cooler my backpack my hiking backpack testing out that hardcore hatchet um i do think then there's my cooking bag and my hammock um i do believe that i'm going to take and mount that s-wing hatchet on my bike somehow and just leave it permanently on there i'm not gonna do the hardcore one because it costs too much and i don't want that wood handle in the weather but the bike did good getting us up here we're gonna go see if we can get some squirrels for dinner uh, we got a couple hours of daylight left and uh one will be great two would be better you know we're gonna fry some squirrel up out here um we're gonna process all our wood with the hardcore hatchet so i'm gonna get to uh hunting and i'll see y'all a little bit Guys, I got another one. They kind of moved in on. All right, guys, I just got back from squirrel hunting, and uh, we got two of them. Woo! Two squirrels there, and I found a deer shed. Look at that little little bucky shed, little four point. Um, I want y'all to know that this right here. A little bit of practice, a little bit of sighting in, a little bit of time behind the gun. You can procure food with it. It uh, took them two squirrels out just fine. 
I think I might have got some on the GoPro. I don't know that I did. It was acting funny. It kept cutting off mid-record and stuff like that, so I can't swear that I did actually get it on the GoPro the way I wanted to. Did run through one whole mag from two squirrels because I missed another one. So I missed one squirrel, shot them two, so shot at three squirrels for eight shots. Not great. I need to practice a little bit more with this. I thought I was pretty good being able to hit a snuff can um, with it every shot, but in the heat of the moment, I wasn't quite as comfortable with the gun as I would have liked to have been. And I think I could have had three squirrels instead of two. Um, but I'm extremely happy with that. That's more than enough food for me to fry up some squirrels. So I'm going to get these cleaned. Get uh, everything prepped for a fire and stuff. I've got to slow boil them for a little while to tender up the back legs and everything. And then we're going to batter them and fry them and eat them with some hot sauce. So for being able to break this rifle down, put it in my backpack and ride out on my motorcycle to go camping for a weekend, it's awesome. Um, now that's this is a survival rifle. We're kind of doing this whole situation that you got stuck out in the woods, your bike wouldn't crank, you're stuck, have no way to get back, but somebody knows where you are, they're coming to get you. When you don't come back tonight, they'll be there to get you in the morning kind of thing. So that's what we're doing here. The survival situation is we're stuck in the woods, our bike wouldn't crank, we have no way to get back. We rode out here for a couple day hiking trip, so we did bring the survival rifle because we always bring it. We're out of food, so we had to procure food. We've done that. Now we're going to cook it up. So Definitely for being able to throw it in a backpack and it being really light, it works. I got two squirrels. I'm pretty sure that the Ruger backpack might be a little better, but it will not store within itself and doesn't float. So this is a self-sustained unit that was strapped to the outside of my backpack. You know, it was all safe and stuff. If you had a Ruger backpacker, you'd have to be able to put it actually inside of the backpack because it doesn't hold itself together like this one does. So I'm gonna get these squirrels cleaned and uh, get a fire going, give me something to drink because I'm pretty winded, pretty hot from chasing down these squirrels and uh, slow boil them, toss them in some flour with some seasoning. We're gonna fry them up. They're gonna be delicious. And the reason you boil them first is because squirrels are extremely tough. You boil them for a little while, get them to tender up a little bit, then you bread them and fry them, they're delicious. Make great hot wings. Um, we're gonna throw some hot sauce on them, just fry them, throw some hot sauce on them. And uh, I'll see y'all in a few. So I'm sitting here cleaning these squirrels, guys. And there's a squirrel right here in this tree. Now the question is, is do I go after it with the rifle? Which means I get the bag back out of the butt stock, put it in there, rack one in it, and go see if I can get squirrel number three. Or do I just be happy with the two that I'm currently cleaning? And I think the truth of the matter is, is I, I don't know if he's taunting me a little bit. Cause he's running around all right here in the street watching me clean these swirls, the, the two that I've got. Do I go over there and just peg around off in him? Or save him for another day? He's a pretty good sized squirrel too. What y'all think? He's right there. Clear as day, sitting on a limb, looking at me. Think we'll save him for another day. You know what? May decide to do this again. He may be around when I ain't got none. So, <clears throat> I think we'll just save him for another day. I decided not to shoot that squirrel. I got my other ones in here getting soaked off in some water in this bag. They'll sit in here until we're ready to cook. I'm going to get the fire and everything going, but we got our two squirrels cleaned up, quartered up. Two front shoulders, two hind quarters per squirrel, and then the back section of back strap is what we're working with. Um, I'm going to get my fire and stuff going <clears throat> and uh, be ready to start boiling down the squirrels. I say you gotta boil them to tenderize them, so I'm gonna start with that. Get the fire going, get them boiling until they're just about fork tender, and then we'll fry them. All right, guys, we're just about ready to cook. I done boiled off my squirrel. Um, I know you can't see that; it's dark. You boil it down to the fork tender. You don't want it too tender; it'll fall apart. 
Got my flour and seasoning here. Now I do not flour and season until my squirrel is completely cool. I mean cold. I don't want it room temperature again. So we're gonna take it, put it in the bag, with our flour and our seasoning. And I season the meat before I toss it in the flour, but I also season my flour, so it's double seasoning. What we're gonna do here, that right there, everything is coated real good in flour. We're gonna heat up some grease. I ain't even got the grease heated up yet. I've been waiting on this stuff to cool down so dang long. Now you could take and make uh, broth out of that boiled squirrel meat if you wanted to make gravy. Uh, I was not in the mood for gravy. But if I would have been, I would have dumped this and used this as my flour to make my gravy. I would have used my batter tossings. It's a good way to make sure you use up everything you use. Um, while that continues to cool, to make sure it's just absolutely ice cold. I mean, I know I tossed it, but I don't know how cold it was. I'm going to uh, put a pan on with some oil. Get that heating up. I see y'all when we start frying up them squirrels, them chicken under the trees, if you're with me. Should've been a preacher. And the Lord said, let there be light. No, I'm just kidding. Probably shouldn't have been a preacher. But I'm gonna fry up some of them chicken under the trees in a minute. All right, again, remember your, uh, drop a little fryer, flour, whatever you're using is your batter to fry with in there. Make sure your oil's hot enough. And then also, make sure you always fry the pieces that are the same size, you know, about the same size together. And the point of making sure that they cool all the way, make sure that they cook evenly. So I've got the two back legs in there, the two hind quarters off each squirrel, even though one squirrel's bigger than the other. Now the two tougher cuts, it's gonna take the longest to cook. They're going first. Here in the fire, I'll show you all that here in just a second. But uh, yeah, that's the reason we do what we do. So there you go, you got the two hind quarters in there. I'm gonna sit here and fry up the rest of my food. And I'll see you guys when it's all cooked up. All right guys, we are done. We have cooked all our delicious chow. Hold on, all our delicious chow. Don't know how well you can see that. Our fried squirrel looks delicious to me. Um, I already sampled a piece. It is fantastic. I do love fried squirrel. I'm let this cool a little bit before I eat some more because it almost burned my mouth. Um, then I'm gonna crash out and I'll see you guys in the morning. Um, hope you guys are liking the video so far. Um, if you all remember to like and subscribe. If you already subscribe, tell your friends about us. The more subscribers we get, the more cool stuff we can do. Especially now that we got the old motorcycle y'all can see sitting right there. We're going to be doing more and more content. Got quite a few few things planned like building the duck boat, building the truck bed camper, maybe even building a trailer camper. A little small camper, we'll see. I just need you guys to hop on board. Love y'all. I'll see y'all in the morning. Alright guys, I know I said I would wait to see y'all in the morning, but that squirrel was absolutely fantastic. I love fried squirrel with hot sauce. Or wing sauce because you make them taste like hot wings and they are they're so good so why i call them chicken of the tree because they're better than hot wings when you make them out of squirrel even though they still don't taste like chicken i've never been able to make squirrel taste like chicken no matter how many times i fried it no matter how many times i've cooked it even turning it into tacos boiling it down till it falls off the bone tender tossing it in taco seasoning and frying it up i've never been able to taste make it taste not like squirrel because squirrel just has such a distinct flavor to me pretty sure no matter who cooks it i could guarantee you i could guess if it was squirrel or not but it was fantastic it's the first squirrel i've eaten this season the first squirrel of 2022 so super happy about that it was super great super tender cooked to perfection always boil it before you fry it or pressure cook it before you fry it make it fork tender before you fry it so that when you fry it you can bite it and it pulls off the bone real easy it's real easy to eat instead of trying to fight it off the bone and it's all stuck in your teeth anyway guys i'm gonna lay down i'm gonna go to bed and i'll see you guys in the morning love y'all see y'all for coffee oh good morning guys cold one this morning 48 finally getting back down to them cool temperatures making 
early morning campfires and coffee a must. Ugh, slept great. After full belly and full of squirrel. Slept so good. That other squirrel's over here in this tree. Thought about maybe taking him out this morning, eating him for breakfast, but I'm not gonna do that. Leave him alone. Like I said, in case I plan on doing another catch clean cook of the chicken in the tree, we can uh, maybe harvest him. Uh, did quite a bit of work with the old hatchet yesterday, checking it out. And uh, it's a way better hatchet than all the other ones. I like it a whole lot better. It cuts a whole lot better, holds an edge a whole lot better. But for 170 bucks, you expect that. It uh, cleared all these good sized trees off here. This smaller one. And then this bigger one here. I'll have to single focus here um, like I said that one these that one that was pretty good that's a pretty good size there cleared all them and cleared a bunch of branches for me so, so that worked out pretty well um, proud of that it's definitely the better of the better of the ones it's gonna be my backpack hatchet it's the one I'm deciding on. It's the one that's going to be a pack hatchet. You know, it's a great size for a pack hatchet. Works great. Got a good solid hammerhead on it. And it worked flawlessly. And it's a lot lighter than that S-Wing. I told you that S-Wing's going to go on the bike, and it is. <clears throat> so, I'm going to sit over here by my fire, give me some coffee, <clears throat> and uh, enjoy the morning as the sun comes up and clean up camp and head to the house i want to thank you guys for watching y'all remember to like and subscribe if you are subscribed tell your friends to come like and subscribe the more followers that we get the more cool stuff we can do uh, i got a lot of stuff planned with the bike and the truck and stuff coming up that hopefully i get to do this year um i want to build a camper in the bed of my truck for hunting off the rack that's already there and uh some stuff like that do a lot of hunting and camping off the bike. And uh, my dog decided to come up here. Y'all say hi to Moose. Moosey, come here. Here he is. Hi Moosey, smile for the camera. Smile. Yes, he can smile. Um, There's a the bike. So, uh, yeah, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Remember to like and subscribe. Y'all stay frosty. I'll see you next time. And if you need a link to any of this gear, it'll be in the description.